Welcome to the Brixton Rec, where we are for the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic 2019. I'm joined by Hosanna Katenge of Charmwood College and Loughborough Riders. And a hugely successful year for you this year, Hosanna. Just give us a bit of a recap on your season and how it's gone. Uh, so obviously being a part of the Charmwood program allows me to be part of the Loughborough Student Riders also. And, um, you know, we had a very successful season with the Loughborough Riders. Um, to start the year, we went to the uh, Cup Final and the Trophy Final. You know, we only won one of the two, but... It was, a, it was great success for the club and for the, for the program itself. And, you know, we're making history every year and we're getting better and better. And, you know, credit to our coaches who have done an amazing job to develop such amazing players who have gone on and done such big things like myself and a few of my teammates. Obviously, now with the EABL stuff, you know, we're undefeated season. Not much you can say about that. You know, all the numbers talk for themselves. Played with a great group of guys this year. Everyone came in from day one. We knew our goal. And, you know, we capitalised on every opportunity that we got. We beat a very good Barking Abbey team, a great Barking Abbey team. But, you know, that's what, that's what we, we talked about from the beginning of the season. That's what we came out and we did. Awesome, and putting in some big-time performances yourself in both EABL and Division One. And I was fortunate to be on the sidelines for some of them with Loughborough. But, I mean, those sorts of performances that you've been putting in has allowed you to have been selected for the Hoopswick All-Star Classic for the third year. And one of the only few on the floor to have done that three times. Just talk to us a little bit about how important it is for you to have been selected for the Classic. Obviously, it's just a, it's an event I look forward to at the end of every year. You know, I work hard throughout the season to be selected for this and uh, to be recognised as one of the, uh, the best players in my age group for the past three years. You know, that, that's not something many people can say. But, you know, just come out here, try to put on a show for everyone, you know. Just do what I do, really. Just play with a lot of passion, a lot of energy. And, you know, hopefully everyone's excited and uh, as entertained as I will be, of course. And then hopefully as you guys will be. And playing against drama teammate Niall Harris as well. I'm sure you're going to give each other a little bit of banter across the game and that goes on. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time we've ever, you know, really had a season where we've been as close as we were, you know. We played together in the same Division 1 team, we suited up to the same, at the same time for the BBL, you know. Like, stuff like that, like, he's one of my closest friends and today, you know, he's not my friend today, he's, he's just a random dude in a white kit today. But, you know, I love him to bits, but today, psh, I don't care what happens to him. <laughs> and then moving forward, committed to Coastal Carolina in Division 1 for next season. Just talk to us about how excited you must be to get out there to the States and, and play and pull on that turquoise jersey for Coastal Carolina. I mean, for me personally, the excitement's died down because I've known since November. But just the fact that I'm only playing against the best players in America and the best players in the world, I mean, it's a great opportunity. And it's a, for me, it's just another step in my career. And, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But I'm very humbled by the situation that I'm in. Of course, coming here for the third year and getting that scholarship. I mean, it, it means a lot to me and I appreciate the, every work that everyone's done for me the past few years and I'm genuinely excited about it. But you know, I just got to go out and hoop now. And how's that going to help you work towards your aspirations as well and wanting to almost establish yourself as a basketball player post-college? Oh, always rebounding out here, Jose. Oh, it's a lot. You know, uh, like I said, it's just a stepping stone for me. I've got bigger aspirations than playing uh, college basketball, but for me, you know, I want to make, uh, I want to play basketball for as long as I can, make a living out of it. Uh, but honestly, I, I don't do it for any other reason than I just love playing basketball. So, you know, until the, the, the day becomes boring to me, that's the day I'm going to stop playing. But right now, like, my aspiration is just to keep enjoying basketball every day, play with a smile on my face. That's the least I can do. And I can guarantee you will see this man play with a smile on his face today as Team Black go up against Team White, tipping off at 4 p.m. here at the Brixton Rec live on our YouTube page.